can't do anything professional in a sense unless I prove myself a lot first. Hey, what the fuck's going on? A year or even a year and a half ago, I took this photo and I printed it onto this phone case and I was looking at it and I was looking at the mask and because like we've overused this mask, this one right here, how cool would it be to chop the bottom part of the mask off, take a portrait where the bottom of the mask is like over someone's face and then they've got their eyes and whatever and the rest of their face in the portrait and I reckon that would look sick with like the mask over their mouth. I wanted to find a model that had face tats because I think face tats would just be really cool. Face tats for one are just a really ballsy thing to get in the first place. Place, like they're on your face you, like for life that's it I've messaged a guy called Keen Ethan on Instagram and well, he seems pretty keen to meet up with us so <laughs> The spot that we're coming to tonight, which is Luna Park, I just checked Google Maps or whatever, and it said that it's closed. I wanted to shoot the model in here because obviously, if you don't know what Luna Park is, it's an amusement park. There's lots of rides and fairs and roller coasters and just shit everywhere. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, it's closed. Yeah. How could you be closed for the entire week and only open weekends? How do you make any money as a business? Yeah. It's still stupid. This is this place is still bullshit. It takes your money. Look at this guy's fucking nose. Whose nose is bigger? This one? <laughs> oh, that, that one up one? there. This guy, like, imagine if he rocked up and he just didn't have face tats. It's like it's Photoshop. Like, it's like, it's Photoshop. Like, nah, man, it's Photoshop. One. All my face tats are Photoshopped. Well, we might as well start looking around for a spot. All right, done. For a new one, because if this one's broken, the spot's broken. <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna find a new spot. It's a pawn shop. It's like an adult. Right there. It's like an adult shop. Look, because like, because it's gonna be out of focus. It just needs yeah, to be. Doesn't actually matter what. Doesn't it actually is. matter what it, it's in the background. I do know there's, there's actually, I think there's a neon sign over there. There's plenty in this area, bro. There's actually heaps in this area, yeah. but right over there, I just want to shoot it out front of the pawn shop because I think it's funny. Hey, what's up, man? Oh yeah, Mike. Nice hey, to meet you, man. Hey, I'm Liam. Hey, nice to meet you, bro. I searched for so long to find someone for this shoot. Have you like gotten used to seeing them on your face? I mean, face tattoos you close off almost the entire world of bureaucracy. If I go into a store, people come up to me and think I'm shoplifting. I've had like cabs pull over and then speed off, like yeah, Uber. Right. Like sometimes I get kicked out of Ubers. Um, right. That's why you were late. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the idea I had for the shot was for him to wear the mask and then the second photo is going to be a picture of his face, right? Later in Photoshop, I'm going to trace around the bottom part of the mask here and I'm going to put that over his mouth. I don't know if this is going to work because I've never tried a photo like this before. I'm not too sure if this is going to work out the way I want it to. I should probably mention I'm going to be using Liam's 35mm tonight. So the 35mm Sigma is a really good lens for portraiture. The amount of depth of field it gets once when you're shooting a subject, you get like a nice blurry creamy background and that's why we're here at this neon sign. Also another reason why it doesn't matter what we're actually shooting because it's going to be out of focus anyway. to because in the past where I've had an idea and then I've executed it, gone out, photographed it, came back, edited it, most of the time it works out. This is just not one of those situations. I opened up both images in Photoshop, the one we took of the mask and the other one I took of Ethan. I even tried changing the blend mode from its normal self to screen and lighten just so it would take the light parts of the image. It did work to some extent, just didn't look realistic. And I think the time, the amount of time to take it, the amount of time it would take to make it look realistic, is it even worth it in the end for the edit? Whatever, it happens. You go out, take some photos. Sometimes I don't always work out and that's okay. Let's just move forward. But it's not like I failed the photo shoot. We still got heaps of cool photos because the original photo I took of Ethan next to the neon light, that looked really sick as well. I've got the photo right here. I love the way this image looks. I love the contrast of the blues on one side of his face and then the oranges, like it's like hot and cold, yin and yang. And I know Ethan's very about that. He was saying to me that each tattoo that he gets has something to do with the other one, like on the other side of his body. He's all about being symmetrical. And so that's what I kind of like about this image. It's like got a bit of asymmetry in it because you've got the blue, you've got the cold side and you've got the hot side. And then I figured there's a bit of negative space at the top left of that image. You could probably keep it in, but I wanted to sort of try and Photoshop something into there. So I took the bottom right hand side of the image and I just sort of warped it and I flipped it and I warped it and I did some shit to it in Photoshop. And then I took some photos of his tattoos as well. So he's got like, what do you mean? 
What do you mean? And then like two girls on the other side of his chest, like holding swords and stuff, which is fucking sick. Like Ethan, like he's a top bloke, a really cool guy to meet. I really like tattoos and I like the idea behind tattoos, but I don't think I could have anything sentimental enough to put on my body personally that would last for that long. So I don't know if I'd ever get a tattoo, but I really think tattoos are awesome. And I actually respect people for getting tattoos because it's a really ballsy thing to go out and do. And it's like a lot of commitment to do that. If anything, people who have tattoos should be more trusted because they can commit to shit. So you know they're trustworthy. Like they've committed to putting ink on their body that they're like that for the rest of their life. You know what I mean? Anyway, that was actually heaps of fun to shoot and I really enjoyed that. If you did like this video, leave a like down below and help me out by hitting subscribe. I've got plenty more videos to come. With that all said and done, I will see you in the next one. Thank you